Well, hello again, everybody. It's Doris at DF Designs. Um, today's going to be kind of a twofer because, um, let me, okay, that's, that's good. I was making sure that my cameras are okay. Um, I got to put a second layer on this. These don't look like they're very thick. Yeah, I did take it off the paper, but I'm going to do another second layer on top of this with a solid color because this is going to be the back so let me get this going and then I've got a little pour I'm going to do on um, special cut um, piece of MDF board I used to own a toy poodle now I know this isn't a toy poodle but this is a poodle and I'm going to do it in a brown rose gold and a coral with a little bit of with a white base on it but I didn't paint this white because I want the brown shade to kind of go through. But uh, So I'm going to mix up enough resin for both. And this one's just going to get a layer of color put in there. So let me see. Hardener. There we go. So I'm hoping I make enough here. Um, and this one's going to get just a solid color. Which is going to be the bottom of the coasters. Yeah, it did leak a little bit. But hey, what can you do, right? Okay, so I'm going to figure, hmm, I'm going to figure 10 ounces. I mean, I don't know if I don't put enough in this, then I will just have to tomorrow make another layer. But I want to unmold them this week to show you guys how they unmold. Okay, while I'm mixing, I'm going to remind you. Today is March, it's Thursday, oh God, what day of the week, um, it's March 14th, got a little over two days left to enter my giveaway, um, if you can see it over here, let me back up so you can see it, I'm going to pick two winners, and you're going to, oh, not this one down here, this one's for something else, but these paintings, and these, there's going to be two winners, and they're going to get to, pick one that's to celebrate 200 subscribers and even though I'm already at almost 300 subscribers so um, and I'm gonna do the drawing at about 705 p.m. Central Time live on my channel here on YouTube and um, below this video and below a lot of the other videos I'm trying to make sure I got them it's hard to see the, the the higher the line the harder it is to see um anyway um I'm putting a link below all the videos between now and even Saturday during the day you can you can enter um but there'll be a, a link below this video so all you got to do is just um um Push the arrow or the show more button, and you'll and it should be the very top thing. Although because it's the top thing, it might already be there. Okay, I'm mixing my resin. For those of you that don't know, um, I use stone coat countertops. I hate to say it, I'm using the stone coat epoxy because I'm still waiting on my art resin. And um, but art resin and stone coat, most of the resins are a one to one ratio. I wanted 10 ounces, so I mixed up 5 ounces of hardener and 5 ounces of resin in here. It's always best to put the hardener in first up to the line and then put the resin on top of it. Um, I think the reason being is the viscosity between the two because the uh, resin is a little bit um, harder, I mean uh, thicker than the hardener. so. That could be it. So, and you want to mix it thoroughly. What I'm doing is, is I'm scraping the sides, I'm scraping the bottom while I'm stirring. And every now and then you want to go in, you want to take your stick out and just knock off whatever's on the stick back into the cup to make sure that no thick strings of resin are not are stuck on your stick and not mixing in with the uh, with the resin and. You want to mix it for a good two to three minutes. Um, lower, smaller amounts don't take as long. Okay, you'll know when it's mixed right because you will see it getting clear, which it is clear now. You're gonna see bubbles. 
Don't worry about the bubbles. Heat guns take care of the bubbles. Okay, I want to do this first. I'm going to do two different colors. Um, although, come to think of it, hmm, I'm going to do just the one color. Let me see. I'm going to do just one Of course. Okay, there we go. And this has to be mixed up a little bit with my stick. I'm only going to do the one the one color for the bottom. Okay. When you open your tint, you want to give it a good mix because it's settled and separated in there. And with the just resin pigments, because it comes all the way from Australia and it can spend a lot of time in a cold warehouse, it might become a little thick or a little hard. Easiest way to take care of that is to make sure the lid's on tight, stick the jar in a bowl of water, hot water, and give it a bath. You want to make sure the water only goes up to the bottom of the lid because you don't want it to get in, inside the uh, jar. You let it sit in there for about five minutes, take it out, dry it off really well because you don't want any water that's on the outside to get on the inside because resin and water don't mix okay um i got a lot of lumps in here so sorry this is taking so long um but that usually um if it solidifies that usually takes care of it okay um i'm not going to do the whole cup i'm going to see how much how much this fills it in. I don't want to fill my cup too far up. Okay. Give it one more stir. There we go. Now it's all mixed together. Good. Doesn't take a lot. Okay. Now I'm just mixing the resin, uh, the pigments into the resin, excuse me. Hmm. That's going to be a little tra well, it doesn't matter if it's transparent because some of the upper layer is clear. I just want to I just want to fill in with some more on top. Okay. I need another stick. You don't want to take the stick you're mixing with and put it back in your tent. Okay. So, what I'm doing is, is I'm getting some more tint out or pigment I should say and I'm mixing it in there we go now it's starting to look a little bit more opaque um, well maybe not uh, I'm not going to worry about it I'm not adding any more this is the bottom layer I just needed to um, um, fill in and make it a little bit deeper okay now for some reason that doesn't look like it's mixing in there right but okay I'm just gonna go for it I just want to fill in all of these because I want another layer to make it a little bit thicker and I thought I would go with a color to accent the um, stuff on um, the the alcohol ink on top and I may end up having to mix a little bit more after the poodle's done because I don't want it to be a thick layer but I don't want it to be a real thin layer either and I want it to level out and fill in everything See right here, I'm pushing it up against the uh, barrier, which is on um, the silicone. Um, I don't have the video of when I made this, but um, um, you can. Um, I will do one eventually. Um, but I did link below the first video, and I'll do it below this one too. 
the video where I got the idea to do the alcohol inks. I got inspired by watching another YouTube artist. And I did link her video under the first one for this. So I can link it again. Okay. I need just a little bit more. So I'm just going to pour just a little bit in here. This cup feels like it's cracked. Now this will be the last time I use this cup. When you pour your when you pour your um, um, pull your resin out after I well that's the way I do it. I pull it out by let I let it dry in there overnight and then I use this use a stick that is stuck into the resin. I use it um, to um, I use it to um, um, <coughs> attached to the rest of the uh, to the resin and it just kind of pulls all out in one piece but they're plastic they're gonna crack and break eventually okay I hope this isn't darker than the rest of it but we'll find out eh, no it looks about the same shade I just want to get this filled in here I'm gonna put a little bit of heat on it and then I'm gonna pour my poodle I just wanted to show you guys how I'm putting a second layer in this because um, just in case anybody needs to know and then I'm gonna tomorrow if it looks good um, I'm going to demold it and I will do that in a video but because it doesn't take long to demold it I will probably also pour on something Depending on how my poodle turns out, I might pour on another animal tomorrow. Okay. I don't want to... Wait a minute. Let me scrape off the pigment off the stick. Okay. I'm going to hit this with the heat gun, get rid of the bubbles, and it goes off to the side. Whenever you turn on your heat gun or your torch, blow it away from your piece for a good five seconds. That lets it heat up, heat up a little bit. But I've got this one little thing I like to do about it. That's to blow out the dust boogers that collect up in there overnight when you're not um, using it. Okay, now I'm just going to go over it. I'll look at it again a little later after the video. You know, it doesn't hurt to go over it a couple more times. Okay. This guy, adios, see you manana. Okay, let me put you over here. Now, the fun part begins. Um, I get these wood shapes. There's a couple different places online, but I get them from a place called um, Craft Cuts. You can order any shape they got cut in almost any wood they have. Okay, I'm going to do a background of white. I'm going to try some Rust-Oleum um, white gloss just to see how it works. And then I'm going to do um, a brown, a rose gold, and a peach over it. And hopefully swipe it into, well, I don't know if I want to swipe it into little straight lines because poodle's hair are not straight. I had a, a poodle got that poodle in um, 1990 right after my daughter my daughter was born um, her name was princess unfortunately when we got divorced princess stayed with him and I'm wasn't happy about that but you know I was going off on my own I had first I didn't have an apartment so I missed my little princess but and then she ended up getting um, run over, so. And then um, she did have a couple of litters, and there was they kept one puppy out of one of the litters named her Jessica. But I, they think, nobody's sure about this, but they think little Jessica, because toy poodles are so small, they think that she and, uh, ended up getting carried off by a hawk. And I know that sounds weird. Okay, I'm going to put that there okay first I want oh I don't know where my where my um 
openers at crap ola that's the one thing i forgot to make sure i had out here oh no 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 don't do this to me don't do this to me it's a paint can it has been opened before you know what i know you're not supposed to really use pliers for this but i am going to use this to pry open the lid okay there we go now this is um um i forgot to, i'll show you the label again after i get some paint out um or when I get the paint out because um, I don't want to turn it sideways right now. This is the Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel. It's oil based and it's gloss white. Now you don't need a whole lot, okay? Because you don't want to put, it's got oil in it. You don't want to put too much in there. Okay, let's see how this mixes. Let me see how opaque it is. And that looks pretty opaque okay you're done i will show you the um label in a minute oh fiddle sticks there we go um let's see yeah uh hopefully you can see that most walmart even carries that <gasps> uh, i knocked over a cup uh, Crap happens. Oh, crap. Well, I knocked over a cup. I don't know what I was doing to knock it over. Now I got all the clear resin all over the, all over the table. And I have no alcohol rag handy. Oh, I'm batting a thousand today, aren't I? And my rags are in the drawer. There we go. Okay, let me put those over there. They got resin on them now. Oh, well. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. I wanted to get this video out before I went to the church supper. I go to the church supper every Monday and Thursday. And I wanted to try to get this video done and uploaded before I went to that. I wonder. Let me see if I can pick some up this way. That's a waste of perfectly good resin. Uh, this video's gone to hell in a handbasket, but it will get uploaded, okay? I'm not gonna, just because I did some boo-boos, I'm not going to um, not upload it because I want you all to see my poodle. Because I kept thinking about it and I hadn't, um, I hadn't really, um, done um any um anything with them okay that's got resin on it well wait a minute i could probably let me see did i get resin on both ends no okay this is a mica powder uh i'm pretty sure i can't remember i got two corals not too long ago i got one from sherry's creative and one off of amazon um so it was from one of those two places but to tell you the truth if i was you i would get it from sherry's creative it's better quality than the one i got off of amazon but you work with what you got okay you can see right here um i get my um jars oh no 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 no, no. don't do this to me jeez i should have opened these before i started recording Sorry that you can't see it on the overhead, but I'm trying to open the lid using my apron. I need to get, I have them down here, but um, I need to get uh, those little um, circles out. Those, you know, those rubber circles you use to hold things with. 
so it doesn't slip in your hand. Okay. I wanted more brown and white than anything. My princess was a caramel color. That's why I'm doing um, doing the brown. I don't know how light it's going to turn out. Okay, I'm done with that one. Okay, last but not least, rose gold from Lorez. Um, Lorez Express. Exp okay, I can't read the label anymore. It's Lorez. Anybody? Um, um, I think it's Susanna Danks that carries Lorez. I'll have to research that and put the link below. I know Lorez comes from out of state or Canada. It either comes from Australia or Canada. Oh, guess what? This one needed a bath. So, I'm not going to be doing the rose gold. That is a bummer. So, I'm going to get resin on this painting. Let me see if I can find my gold gold, my bright gold. There it is. Yep, I use this one a lot too. This is the uh, bright gold uh, pigment powder. Pigment powder by um, Just Resin. And of course, it's another one that's I think because I got alcohol in my gloves. Okay, I already got something on on the one side of this end of this stick, so I will just use the other end. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me mix these guys up and get this show on the road. Because I've already got my white mixed up. That's my base. I'm getting tired of... Oh, Whenever you put powder on top of the resin, don't mix it so fast at first because it'll poof back in your face out of the cup. And I call those little unicorn farts. Because if a unicorn could fart, it would be something bright and sparkly like the mica powders. Okay, that's the coral. Here is the brown. If your pigment settles to the bottom, you want to make sure that you are getting it up from the bottom. Because the stick was in the pigment jar itself, it's got to concentrate on the end of it. So I scrape off the concentrated pigment so that will mix in with the rest of the resin. That is the almond by Just Resin. And then this one is their bright gold powder, which I'm not going to mix fast because I don't want a unicorn fart all over my face. Okay. There we go. I love this color. I love this color. Although with the tones, it, I think the rose gold would have been better, but silly me, I came in and said, oh, I can do this before 4 o'clock. So... I um let me see where I can put this at so it'll drain. Okay. I just wanted to get a little bit of clear on there, but now I'm gonna put the white on there too. And because this is the Rustoleum, um I was I heard from a couple of people that this stuff will um sell up if it's if the color goes over it just like um stone coat countertop space tint will. So, okay, don't need any extra white in the cup, so, so, if you, if there's something I forget to mention while I'm talking, and you need to know, you can um, leave a question down in the comments. Uh, some of you that know me on Facebook, just message me over there if you don't want to make a comment below the video. Okay, now, let me get this heated up. Let me get my cups over here out of the way. Oh, that's the extra cup that I keep out for my girlfriend, Jo, for her wine. Okay. Now all I'm doing is just heating it up a little bit. And getting rid of the air bubbles. I didn't have to blow it off to the side because um, 
Let me see what time it is. Uh, five after three. Okay. I have plenty of time. Um, I already blew the dust boogers out. Okay, now let me get my rag handy because I'm going to use my finger to push it all over. And it's okay that you can see the brown because um, I wanted the brown to show through a little bit. That's why I didn't want it too opaque because of the, the color of the fur is going to be brown. Now, I'm not going to be able to put a whole lot of details in this, but I'm going to try to do some swiping. Okay. It will level out on its own. That's the one good thing about resin. It's self-leveling. Okay. Get you up there. You just want to make sure you get the whole thing covered with something of the resin. It doesn't matter if it's uh, thin enough that it's that it's transparent and you can see the color. I mean, if you didn't want to see the color of the wood, you can always, after you seal it, um, with the uh, I use polyacrylic and I give it a couple coats everywhere, even the back and the sides, because wood breathes and when it breathes, you get air bubbles that come up through the wood into your resin. No fun. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, I don't know how to do this. So, let me just put some up here. Probably, probably will be swiping it towards the inside since I've now put it all over the outside. And the gold will go on after I've done all my swiping. I got a lot of brown here. So, let's see. Not exactly what I thought, but you know, I hadn't really thought it through. You don't want to think it through too much. Okay, now. I need to stand up because I'm going to do some swiping after I get rid of the air bubbles and heat it up a little bit. You want to heat it up before you swipe it. And the reason you want to do that is because you want it a little thin because you don't want um, the uh, resin to be too cold and not swipe. Try, try, trying to find my switch I have my switch covered up with plastic and the reason I do that is because I went through in a couple months I went through like three heat guns because the switches were getting resin all over it okay let's see what this does let's see how this looks I kind of got rid of some of it up here. Now I just heard my phone go off. Oh well. Whoever it is or whatever it is can wait. I am busy doing a poodle. I love poodles. They are some of the most loyal dogs in the world. My princess used to, she, she couldn't sleep anywhere but right next to me. Thank God she was small though. You know what? I like this. I, I think that's... I'm going to leave it that way. Let me heat it up a little bit to get rid of air bubbles and see if any cells come up.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I see cells. That almost that almost looks like a face right there. I like that. You can pour resin on any shape. It doesn't have to be round or rectangle. Okay, now let's see what I'm going to do for some accent lines. I'm going to have a little bit of brown and gold left over, but that's okay. I will pour it in a shot glass. Okay. ran out. I should be doing what Tammy Anderson taught me. Using a bigger stick in here so I can load more um, so I can load more um, resin on it so it doesn't run out while I'm going around like it just did there. Hmm. See, ran out almost to the end of that one. Hmm, I don't want to do too much with the gold. I am going to blow it out a little bit. There we go. I wanted to follow that little line right there. I wanted to get a little bit of it up into the tail. I don't want really thick lines. I don't want the gold to take away from it. Well, let me see how this looks when I blow it. And if it looks good and I don't find and I don't find any dust boogers or, or other things that might have fallen in there. I'm just blowing them over a little bit to make them up, spread them out a little bit to make them look just a little bit more organic. I don't know if I really want to tilt it because some of the stuff I want to keep is so close to the edge. You know what? I don't want to try to put an eye on it because then it would get too, way too much gold up there. So I am going to call her done. I probably will name her princess too because I really miss my princess. Um, I know it's been almost 20 years since she got killed. But I still miss her. I never got another dog. Well, yeah, I did get another one or two more dogs after that. But I never got attached to them like I did my princess. Okay, basically I'm also um, rubbing the bottom of the edge. Just to make sure I get rid of the drips. Because I don't want any drips down there. I didn't tape the back. I'm, I'm bad about that. Mm. 
But looking under there, everything looks good. I might, I don't know yet, but I might gold leaf her around the edge. And I was, I was, I did buy these shapes to do alcohol around them. But, nah. Okay. Um, normally, when I do my lives and I, I show you guys the coasters I made, but I don't have enough resin or enough colors left to really do a coaster. So, this is what I do. I just sit here and I pour everything out of the cup into the mold and it may not fill it all the way but that's okay because um, I just let it sit there and if I get another color in a few days that would look good on top of it I do that too okay cup okay I had a lot of this brown left so let me get this brown on top of the gold See, I might be able to top this off with some gold next time I have extra gold. And that would look that would look good in a design in the Although I'm I'm trying to figure out a way to to get some candles that fit down in these. Votives, not votives, um tea lights. They're the actual wax tea lights are too small or too big. The opening's too small. Anyway, and I just noticed my Poodle is upside down, so let me turn her around for everybody to see. Now I'm having a problem with these cups. There we go. This is also a very awkward shape to grab onto. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, can you give me a thumbs up? You know, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Um, but either way, leave a comment. Any questions, leave those in the comment sections too. Don't forget um, to look below this video for the link to my giveaway, which is going to be held Saturday at 7.05 p.m. Central Time, live. Okay? Um, so, I thank you all for watching. I love the resin right out of you. And I hope to see you in my next video. And bye for now.